So the SEC has decided to bring in two new attorneys to help out with their case against Ripple. Now, you want to talk about conspiracy theories and is a settlement coming? Now, you want to talk about how this case gets weirder every day, just like I've said in my last three videos? This is no different. So now there's uh, conspiracies going wild on Twitter as to why these two attorneys are being brought in. Is a settlement actually going to happen and happen very soon? I'm going to tell you what some Twitter users found on the LinkedIn profiles of these two attorneys and actually what they specialize in and why they could be brought in. We have attorney Jeremy on Twitter who's been following this case extremely close. He's analyzing this case and he broke down a couple of reasons why these two new attorneys could have been brought in. Ripple of course responds on the same day announcing they have a new board member too. In fact, she used to be the treasury secretary. And all this is wrapped around these chart analysts that are talking about how this could be the last chance to get XRP under two dollars so we're going to take a look at what some of these chart analysts are saying and why this could be the and why this could actually be the last chance to get xrp for under two dollars hey everyone my name is randy welcome back to the late night grind and right now on this youtube channel i'm covering the sec versus ripple lawsuit case because i find it fascinating but it also has far-reaching implications into the cryptocurrency world but i also cover cryptocurrency news investment markets personal finance and stimulus check updates so if any of those topics interest you go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell notification icon that way youtube will notify you when i release a new video which of course i do when i get some new developments and in this case there are always new developments happening every single day and if you're feeling really generous i really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button it really helps out a newer youtube channel like this it actually uh, tells youtube to show this video to new audiences so if you do that i greatly appreciate it all right guys well let's jump right into it okay so the sec is calling two attorneys from chicago in to jump in on this SEC versus Ripple case. One whose name is Robert McDonald Moy and the other who is Benjamin Hanauer. And these two attorneys have uh, 18 and 25 years of experience uh, respectively between the, uh, respectively with the SEC. And this is where the story gets really interesting. So there was a Twitter user that looked up their LinkedIn profiles to see exactly what they specialize in. And as SEC attorneys, obviously they do litigation on different cases and they focus on things like insider trading, uh, securities fraud, and various different items like that. But in the case of Robert McDonald Moy, at the bottom of his, at the bottom of his description, it says he advises senior SEC officials on charging decisions and negotiating settlements. Now, of course, this was picked up by the Twitter user, highlighted, copied, and placed and pasted all over Twitter, which of course then went viral with hundreds and hundreds of comments on that Twitter feed. Now, I don't like to cherry pick information. Uh, I think you have to look at this overall as a whole. Sure, is he does he specialize now? May, now, could he specialize? in negotiating settlements? Yeah, absolutely. Is that what they're bringing him in for? That's a possibility. But from what attorney Jeremy says, who's basically been covering this case, there's a several different reasons they could be calling these in. But on the conspiracy side of things, XRP holders have also pointed out that that was on the same day that Ripple announced that they have a new board of directors, uh, Rosie Rios, who is a former treasury secretary. And not only that, they're inviting these two new lawyers to join the case. Uh, basically one day or the day of, this closed door meeting that the SEC is having to discuss several framework issues as well as likely uh, high profile cases like the GameStop issue and the SEC versus Ripple issue. But attorney Jeremy sees a few different options as to why they're actually coming in. That Ripple is actually fighting back harder than the SEC thought and there just needs some reinforcements to come in to get a new set of fresh eyes, a new perspective on things. Or, may or maybe someone with a little more experience in this type of thing. Or another reason is that someone inside the SEC decided that there needs to be a new lead counsel. And so they're actually bringing uh, these lawyers in to basically take over. Or the other option is that they're actually bringing them in to negotiate settlements, such as, what's such as what was put on this LinkedIn profile of one of these attorneys. And that's where the conspiracy really got ramped up, especially since it's on the day of the big closed door meeting that the SEC is having regarding some of the regulations and some of the high profile cases. One of the other speculations is that these attorneys Attorneys, maybe they're being brought in as a fresh set of eyes, as a fresh perspective, because Gary Gensler, who is now the head of the SEC, he's only had this job for a week or two now. And someone pointed out that maybe he's just bringing in a new perspective, a new set of fresh eyes, because the current attorneys that are working on the case, they may actually have ties to Jay Clayton and William Hinman, who actually brought this case against Ripple back in December of 2020. 
And of course, I laid out in the video a couple of videos ago, I'll link to that up here, uh, why there could be absolute corruption inside of the SEC as to why they actually brought the case. And it just delves into how uh, Clayton and Hinman were tied to uh, to hedge funds and to law firms who are benefiting, who are benefiting massively from Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm telling you, they're going to make a movie out of this one day. And so all that to say that maybe Gary Gensler just doesn't trust the attorneys working on it right now, and he's bringing in a new, set, uh, a new fresh set of eyes. Because after all, Gary Gensler actually said he he doesn't think that the uh, is XRP a security or is it a currency will be decided by the SEC. It's actually actually going to be decided in court. But if it comes down to a settlement, I'm actually wondering, is Ripple going to settle? Would they settle? Because uh, CEO Brad, Brad Garlinghouse has actually said several times that the most important thing that can come out of this case is that there's regulatory clarity because that's going to be the that on-ramp for everything else that Ripple is doing and a lot of other cryptocurrencies to really take off and not have to worry about things like Ripple are going through now. It's also gonna give investors, uh, institutional investors specifically, the green light to go ahead and pour money into some of these projects, which could exponentially not just increase the price of an XR, not just increase the price of XRP or other cryptocurrencies, but actually, but actually supercharge uh, the use case projects that are actually being built right now. So will he settle? I mean, yeah, that's a possibility. Ripple could actually settle if it was offered to them, but I'm guessing one of those things is that the regulatory clarity would be part of it. That whether there's uh, some sort of financial payment or fine that they would have to pay, my guess is that Brad would come in and say, as part of this, we need some regulatory clarity and there's going to be, and there's something that's going to be needed that specifically defines XRP before moving forward. With all that being said, we're gonna find out soon. Like I said, there is a closed door meeting on Thursday the 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And man, I can't wait to read what all the notes and all the reports are from that meeting. Uh, I don't know exactly when they're gonna come out. My guess is it'll start to kind of leak out uh, over the hours and days afterwards. So definitely, definitely subscribe to this channel if you are interested in what those developments are because as soon as I hear about it, I'm definitely gonna be making videos about it. So with all that said, is now the basically the last time that you could buy XRP for under $2. It's actually been climbing. The stock price right now uh, is $1.66. It actually touched $1.70 a little bit earlier. But looking at a couple of these chart analysts, specifically Dark Defender on Twitter, um, he's been super accurate the last couple of weeks with the price of XRP. Regardless of this SEC stuff and regardless of what the price has done in the past, if you think this is the last time we're going to see a sub $2 XRP. In fact, I put that as my community question. So if you haven't visited there recently, up on my community tab, you can click over there. I have a bunch of polls. Uh, that it's been asking about XRP, cryptocurrencies, things like that. You can actually see what a lot of the subscribers of this channel, a lot of uh, watchers of this channel have been answering and you kind of figure out what they're thinking. So go there and check out some of the polls. And this last question that I'm asking, are you guys more involved in the day-to-day -day trading of cryptocurrencies or in even specifically XRP? And is that why you're interested in the price or are you uh, more of a long-term holder? Are you just kind of accumulating, accumulating, knowing that knowing that this crypto space is here to stay for the long-term? So go there and check out that community poll and participate. I'd really appreciate it. It's really fun to see all the answers, all the, all the thousands of responses that I get. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if you think that this conspiracy that it's leading to a settlement is actually the case. I'd love to know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching till the end of the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next video.